Hey everybody, Scott Burnett here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video. Here I am in the office and we're gonna do another M1 MacBook Air video today. Talk about virtualization and that's being able to run a computer within your computer. And uh, we're gonna install a program called Parallels. It is the number one virtualiz virtualization software that you can run on a Mac. And we're gonna run Windows 10 on the Mac so which is probably blasphemy but I've been doing it for a long time so we're gonna try it so let's jump down here to the computer and uh, we'll look at parallels and Windows 10 for the MacBook Air M1 edition so let's look at it so I am recording my screen I hope So we are gonna look right here. I'm in the browser, <coughs> excuse me. And right now they have a 14 day free trial where you can download this and, and uh, run it and see if you like it and everything. Uh, it's usually, I think $79. Every once in a while you can find it $59 for, for the whole shebang. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna download the free trial We'll download now. I already have a license, but I'm just going to show you how to do this. You'll be redirected to our trial center in five seconds. Okay, we're going to download Parallels Desktop. And there's the DMG file. Put it on my other display. There we go. We're going to double click this. We're going to open it. I'm going to say OK. And it's going to download the application. And, and what this is, this is called a hypervisor, and it's actually just a program that you run on your computer, and it has another computer inside of it. That's what virtual means, so in layman's terms. So. We do a lot of virtualization where I work and everything, so it's pretty cool. <clears throat> Gonna take just a few minutes to install. And what's cool about this, if I get Windows 10 Windows, and Windows 11 running on this, then I don't have to um, have another computer sitting here, which is pretty cool. All right, now we have it installed, and it wants you to be able to run Windows on here, so it tells me where to go join this so you have to be a part of the Windows Insider program so for some reason my camera cut off um, so I went to the Insider previews and I'm gonna go ahead and get my screen back going again I have no idea what happened we'll keep my eye on it here okay so I should be recording the whole thing that it took me to the Insider preview build 21354 which that's a developer build of windows 10. uh it may be buggy may not be i don't know but we're going to try it anyway um so one of the reasons i want to run windows 10 on here being a software developer i run visual studio visual studio code two or three other softwares that only run on, on windows and for the software that i develop it's on windows machines and uh, sometimes if I don't have my Dell with me, and this is the only computer I got, I won't be able to work off this one. So that's, that's why I'm doing it. Okay, on my screen here, the download is done. It's the VHDX file down here. That is a virtual hard drive file. So I'm gonna go back to Parallels. 
and this is where I installed it and this is a Mac with an M1 chip we hit continue and out here it says install Windows or another OS from DVD or image file well that's an image file that I have so I'm gonna click that and we'll see if it finds it and we'll hit continue I'm going to tell it to find automatically. And there it is. That's the one I downloaded. It's in my downloads folder. I'm going to hit continue. Okay, you can, it's like a, an express setup where you can do pro productivity or games only. Well, I'm going to do productivity. And I'm going to call it Windows 10 Development. And I'm going to leave it in there. It's going to use 17 gigs of hard drive space. Uh, I want to customize the settings. I'm going to create. And it's going to start creating this. And then it'll come back and it should ask me to adjust how many CPU cores, how much memory, the whole bit. So we'll see. We'll, we'll speed through this. Actually, I didn't have to speed through it. It did it on its own. So, Okay. So the options for this. Um, we're going to go to options. We're going to leave everything in uh, default processors. This machine has eight processor cores. So I'm going to give it four. Because I don't want to hog it. Memory, I'm going to go to 8 gigabytes because this machine has 16. Uh, graphics, best for retina display, mouse and keyboard, default, network, shared network, sound and camera, default, everything good. Uh, security, I don't want to encrypt it. I don't want to isolate Windows from Mac. I want to be able to intertwine it. Uh, backup, we'll do it later. That should be... Uh, how much drive space did I give it? Hard disk. It says 256 gigabyte. I won't ever use that much, but we'll go for it. Alright, we'll hit continue. And what's good about a, a virtual machine, you can always delete it if you need to. So. And now it is setting up the virtual machine. Hopefully y'all can see that. So one thing I like about running virtual machines is they're that fast. They're a whole lot faster to set up than a, than a normal computer. Which with Windows 10, Windows 11, it's pretty quick. I mean... But what this is doing, this is doing like a normal setup and it's going ahead and it's doing the virtual drivers and uh, setting up all the file system and everything. Let's see what it's got here. And I'm hoping that even though it's on the ARM system, which is not a normal Windows install, it's ARM like, like your phone is. Um, I'm hoping all my software is run with it. It's supposed to. We'll speed through this so you don't have to be watching. Hey, this is a good time to go through and, and hit the subscribe button on the channel too. We'd love to have you on board. Love to be able to show you some of this and get your comments and uh, questions and whatnot. So go ahead and hit that and hit the bell to be notified. And I'll sit here and wait on it. Matter of fact, I'll, I'll come back when it's done. Okay, 
That took exactly nine minutes and 35 seconds to do a complete parallels Windows 10 install. As you can see by my screen, it is up to date. Uh, this is an evaluation copy of Windows, but it works. I mean, it's showing that it successfully installed. Um, there it is. And I can go down here on my Mac and it shows everything that's working. Um, I mean, everything's there. Pretty cool. So I'll continue playing with this. Uh, if you have any questions, leave them down there in the comments. I'll leave links to everything I did down there. And uh, like I said before, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell, be notified. Hit that like button if you like it. Uh, if you have a, an Apple computer, you can do this on Intel or M1, doesn't matter. Um, it's just a neat way to do things. And uh, me being a software guy, you know, it's what I do. So anyway, um, we'll end it right there. I hope everybody's having a great week so far, having a great day. And until the next video, thanks for watching.